Hello, it's time for another episode of Discipleship Today. My name is Bob Benson. I pastor Christ Lutheran Church out in Bemis Point. Um, We've been going through the Bible looking at a whole bunch of different uh, verses that talk about discipleship. Uh, We worked through the book of John and then we went in the book of 1st and 2nd Timothy. We're going to take a break from that today. I wanted to talk about a couple of things. Everybody, uh, almost all Christians know who Dietrich Bonhoeffer was. He was a German pastor and theologian known for his opposition of the Nazi regime. He was imprisoned in Buchwald uh, and executed in 1945 in his part of an assassination attempt on Adolf Hitler. Listen to what he wrote in his book called The Cost of Discipleship. He says there, cheap grace is the grace we bestow upon ourselves. Cheap grace is grace without discipleship. Costly grace is the gospel which must be sought out again and again. It is costly because it costs a man his life. And it is grace because it gives man his only true life. As we embark on discipleship, we surrender ourselves to Christ in union with his death. When Christ calls a man, He bids him to come and die. We've been talking about discipleship, and uh, we've defined discipleship as someone who lovingly follows Jesus and intentionally helps others to follow him. Here's our approach. Our passage for today is kind of pointed and powerful, stunning and shocking. Let's read Luke 14, verses 25 through 27. Now great crowds accompanied him, and he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life, he cannot become my disciple. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. There's a couple observations that we need to make from this. It's an urgent evangelic passage. He, he's, he's trying to get people to see that evangelism is important and it's important in their day and age. Jesus had just finished telling the parable about the importance of inviting people to his banquet. Matter of fact, verse 23 says, Go out to the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. This passage is demanding discipleship. It also gives us some conditions to those who are considering following. The word disciple is found in the end of verse 26. You cannot be my disciple. And verse 27, cannot be my disciple. If you were keep reading, you'd also found disciple in verse 33. Where it says, so therefore, if any one of you who does not renounce all that he has cannot be my disciple. Discipleship is a process. It's a process that as we walk along with Jesus, we want to encourage others to walk along with Jesus in the same way or in the way that God has called them to walk. The whole discipleship process is walking in life with people. It's not necessarily sitting down every week and spending an hour reading scripture, although scripture reading is important. It's investing in people's lives. However they're walking, whatever they're walking through, are you helping them to walk through it? I think about the example of Jesus Christ, who walked and talked with these guys on a daily basis, living life with them. That's what discipleship is for us today. We have to commit our lives to giving up the things that we love, to put them in the right priority. Jesus Christ first and our likeness to Jesus first and then leading others in that same way. I don't think it really says that we have to hate people. I don't think we should hate anybody, but we have to get our priorities right. And sometimes putting those priorities in a right way uh, will offend people and it'll offend people around us. Let's invest in kingdom work as kingdom disciple makers. We make disciples who then make disciples. And that's what we've got to be pouring our hearts into. It's not about picking out a lot of people that you want to spend a lot of time with. It's about taking the people that God puts into your life and 
investing in them. And here's going to be a shock for you. Sometimes God calls you to pour into people who don't have a relationship with him yet. Can you disciple somebody who doesn't believe in Jesus Christ? I would say that you can. And I would say that that's what we're called to do. All throughout the Gospels, we get this little phrase, and then they believed. And then they believed. We see it over and over and over throughout the Gospels. It's a process of drawing deeper in relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's what we have to invest in, is getting people to draw deeper into the relationship with Jesus. So for Discipleship Today, my name is Pastor Bob Benson. Thank you for taking the time to watch.